Beethoven's Pathetique Sonata. Very choir-like, and again, a gorgeous melody. Okay, let's take a look at it. Play the melody all by itself. Observing the fingering, one, two, one, two, because you're traveling up the piano, you want to have the right finger when you get to the top. So there's little fingering tips in the book on page 35. Follow them along. I don't give a lot of fingering tips, but just where you need it. All right, so once we've learned the melody, take a look at the chording page. I have filled in some of it for you and I've left some of it for you to fill in. And practice your left hand chords by themselves without that melody so they get used to going from chord to chord. Sing along if you like from the beginning. Da, 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 and so on. Da, da. But left hand by itself so it just has time to kind of get to know its groupings. So you'll notice that second chord in bar two comes in on beat three. There's no melody note with it. It's establishing the beat, which is what often our left hand does. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Again, I liken that bar to play a chord on the third beat of the bar. One, two, that's bar four. Now the voicings that I've recommended with the slash chords in the book are not the only voicings you can use, but they're ones that I felt were good, smooth voicings that work out with the melody quite nicely. So if we start on pick up to bar five, one, two, three, four, the E minor goes down to the A, D minor goes down to a low G, becoming a G7 and back up to C. Now you play the same melody, but an octave higher. Make it sing out and make those chords in the left hand nice and soft underneath. Your piano teacher can help you balance your two hands. So at the beginner level, Play it with solid chords in the left hand, beautiful melody in the right hand, and make sure your balance is nice and you'll have a gorgeous sounding piece.